Lights, 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 camera action. He a star now. I'm always on a page. It ain't hard for me to stand out. I'm gonna need a band if you wanna sit on this couch. Sit on this couch. Lights, 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 camera action. He a star now. I'm always on a page. It ain't hard for me to stand out. I'm gonna need a band if you wanna sit on this couch. Sit on this couch. What's happening, y'all? It's Star in Charge, Star Life Fan. We back at it with another edition of Certified Star. We figure out what makes people stars for real. Now today, I got two legends on the couch, man. I'ma go ahead and let them introduce themselves, man. What, what's your name, bro? Your bitch favorite nigga. Nah, I'm <laughs> Hey, Rucci, Minglewood, California. Hey, Z, try, you know what I'm saying? Courtesy of us. Yeah. Wow. That part, so man, we got LA in the motherfucking bay right now. I ain't gonna lie, and it's, it's really going up, man. I, I truly met these niggas like last night at the show, man. I ain't gonna lie, y'all niggas was fucking up the stage, man. Y'all been to the bay before? All the time. time. All the yeah. time, plenty of time. The bay really showing y'all up, man. Y'all had the stage lit, the energy was good in the building. I was fucking with the vibes, man, so. I love the bay. Yeah, you fucking with the bay? If I had enough money, I'd move out of here. <laughs> Expensive, right? Man. Y'all too rich. I got too much going on. <laughs> nah, but I fuck with the baby. <laughs> Oh mamas, oh mama. So here on Certified Star, we like to do with our guests. You feel me? We want y'all to take us back to the trap. Take us back to where you originally from. No shit. I'm from Eagle California. I'm from South Central California. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, I'm from Pyro. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so nigga, take us to the childhood, nigga. How was your childhood growing up, man? My shit was tight, nigga. My daddy was a gangster. My mama worked a good job. Mm -hmm. um, I had the best of both worlds. My mama wanted me to play sports, but honestly, wanted me to do whatever I wanted to do. Grew up. Mm -hmm. around my dad and them, did it in the hood. Dropped out of high school. My mama was like, what the fuck? I said, what the fuck? She was like, what you gonna do? I said rap. I started rapping. Became routine. Now we here today. Shit, that nigga tried to summarize that motherfucker <laughs> up in, in one note and cut type shit. We here today, though. Yeah. Alright, right, nigga, now it's your turn, nigga. Don't be shy over there, man. Oh, no, I let my nigga finish, man. You gotta hear that story. Right, right. Cool. Uh, nah. Just turn, pretty much same shit, turn, you know what I'm saying? Uh. I don't know. I moved a lot around LA, so I, I lived everywhere in LA. I know that shit like the back of my hand. I even stayed in Eaglewood for two years. So, oh, that, well, so what was all the what was all the cities that really touched down in LA for real? Um, I'm like uh, LA for sure, of course, South Central, like the borderline between the East and the West, like all Figueroa. Figueroa is all borderline. Like that's where you once you cross Fig, you on the West side, but it's basically the east side still. It's look like it's dirty, it's grimy, just like the east side. But your address say west side. Mm. So that, and then now I got five years in Lone Beach. I, I lived in five years. I lived in the Lone Beach project for five years called the Carmelito. Mm. And then I right, like, <sighs> but besides the other time where I most spent my most time at, South Central LA and Compton. Compton, the only city I went to elementary, middle school, and high school to. But I went to middle school, elementary, and high school in LA too. So I, I just moved in hella, uh, dropped out of high school. Uh, shit, that was like drop out, bro. That's all right, let's see niggas, these niggas drop out, bro. Yeah, I, I, I went to go get the GED, because that's what mom's going You feel me, mom? You gotta make mama happy. Yeah, and that's before any, like, rap shit, she ain't even believe it. You Tell mom I'm finna rap. It's like, nah. Like, nigga, you finna rap. Then go get your ass a job. Yeah, yeah she's like, I, I bit the bullets. Yeah, <laughs> she. Mom's gonna think that shit a phase or something until that money start rolling in. Then she can't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? Got the GD. Then got jiggy with the music. That was it. Started taking trips to the bay. Got my sauce. And it was like, shit, everybody was going to school, bro. Everybody was going to college and shit. Like, I had to make some shape. Type shit. Yeah, I was a bum, you feel me? I was a scumbag at the time, you feel me? So, I, I be knowing how it is. You know, I had to make my way though. 
like we, like we all do sometimes, man. So how was, how was your experience going to school, man? Uh, shit. Normal kid shit for the most part. I mean, like you said, nigga has episodes. I didn't turn to a class clown until sixth grade. <laughs> sixth grade came. Mm -hmm. I mean, seventh grade came, and I ain't gonna lie, I started getting on gangster shit. By eighth grade, I started off fat, lost weight, eighth grade, it was up then. It was, it was big over. B's. That boy yeah. said he lost weight. We, we was big B's at Gopper. Shout out my nigga, AZ Sway. I've been knowing him since sixth grade. He'll tell you everything. It was Sway. blowing up in that bitch every day. I got kicked out of middle school, eighth grade. Start, that's how I started <coughs> going to middle school in Compton. But I catch the bus every day back to school, LA after school to go hang out. <laughs> every day, no cap. Dad, uh, I dropped out like, I said like 11th grade. I went to school a few times in 10th grade, but that shit was weak. And like I said, my mom was pushing GED shit. Like she kind of felt it. Like, oh, you gonna drop out or you don't wanna go to school. All right, well, at least get your GED type shit. So that one, led to one thing to another. Had free time, thought about it. Nigga rapping every day, made it make sense. 2015 came, AZ Sway blew up with his shit, and we was gone. We was just on it every day after that. Got my own equipment, my mama bought me a Mac desktop with her tax money, and it was up, man. We was recording on GarageBand and the dresser drawers, no mic stand, nothing. Dude. Going crazy, put a sock on the mic, man. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you know niggas really started back in the day. So you was really doing all your own shit, like first coming out, starting up and shit? No, we did everything. Sway was rapping, nigga, I learned how to engineer. Only thing I didn't know how to do is do beats. I know how to engineer. Record, we can rap, we can do all that shit. We was on Logic Pro now, Pro 9 and Garage Band. Ended up on Logic Pro 9 though. I recorded my biggest song like that though. In the house, in my room, in my mama house. Real nigga on me. Wow. I did, a, I did light it up like that biggest too. song off that shit too. I did light it up like that too. Nigga roaches in the crib, man. No cap. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. I feel like you gotta do that though and make sure you, make sure you want that shit. Hey, man, niggas man. came from that bro. That's why we, hey, you know what's wrong today? People don't think it's okay to struggle, but that shit is crashing my blood. Everybody wanna be famous overnight. Yeah. Not even like overnight. That. Everybody, even if they not, they trying to flaunt the, like, ain't nobody on Instagram or nothing right now showing they struggle. Hell no. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying though? Hell no. Like, they feel like you gonna get down tough, but I got some real homies. I mean, like, some real homies that don't give a fuck. Like, Nigga, they post some bullshit on the set, but they proud of it, you feel me? I'm like, damn, I can't even get that. Like, niggas, well done, bro. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. Y'all know, y'all know, know how, everybody know how LA gang culture is so, like, heavenly influenced, right? Do y'all feel like it was an influence on y'all life growing up? Hell yeah. Power. Okay, so, how old was you when you feel like you really jumped off the porch and was really all in the street shit? If you from okay. LA, yeah, you born into it. I ain't gonna lie. It's not no, you don't get to choose when you jump off the porch. The porch gonna jump off you, man. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Like, it won't work like that. You spend enough time in LA, you ain't got no choice. Wherever you at, you know what I'm saying? That shit be with us. Niggas like him, he, his fan, like, you know what I'm saying? His pops, gangbang royalty. You know what I'm saying? My dad's like, you know, John Gotti where I'm from, so when I was born, I'm his first born, you feel me? Okay, so. It was just like, you know, it was like Eric, all the homies come see the baby, like, mm -hmm. you feel me? I've been who I am, like, been from where I'm from, you feel me? Since day one, save my little brother, that's just how we are, like. So it's like, it's hard, like, to even not think about anything but that, because that's where we're from, nigga. Right. Like, that's the biggest thing in L.A. is gang culture, it's like, that's why I be so cool, like, nigga, what the fuck, like, right? nigga, I made it this far, I'm a mm -hmm. gay, man. only one side of the world supposed to like me, nigga, like, you feel me? Right. So, I mean, the gay man the world, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But I earn respect, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this shit is, it's not easy, fool, when you gotta deal with this gay man and shit, you feel me? Niggas just be thinking, like, it's a game, but when you come to L.A., bro, it's, they'll be on you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> If you, if, too. If, 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 if you serious. No fucking jersey out there. No jersey out there. Like, that's for surely, like, when I was Niggas out. Be on that's you. What I'm saying. When I was in my trip in L.A., bro. <laughs> I just started, nigga, yeah, flame up. Clothing, <laughs> color, color, nigga, just the leather on your hat. That's what I'm saying. Makes a difference yeah, out yeah, there. You feel me? Like,
niggas that no don't have nothing man. to do. I'm talking about like the yeah, the square right. singer yeah, niggas, bro. Like mm-hmm. that don't have nothing. Why you think when like you know Chris Brown came out here? That shit, that shit real. Yeah, to though. like get his, his foot in the door with somebody over here. Cause if you gonna live out here and be, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that shit real. That, that shit, shit look real. dumb. It sound dumb. Who you tripping over a color and a hat? It's, yeah, it's it's sound dumb. That, though, right? it's, yeah, it sound dumb when you say it out loud. When yeah. you go live it though, it's like, oh, okay, like you know what I'm saying? Like that's just really what's happening. Every it, everybody in the gang, whether you like it or not, if you smell that. Like, you gonna you gonna yeah. get it one way or another. Like him and then my <laughs> shit. Nobody in my family was gang banging. Well, they was like, I had like. Well, he good now. Shout out Uncle Joe, but he was shermed out from Andrews Park going up. That was the only gang. He was a blood, but. My sister, my uh, mama, little brother started game back in. And that's how, you feel me? We started seeing everything. You know what I'm saying? She's selling drugs in they hood. And they pressed my mama like, you can't be selling drugs over here. You ain't from the set. What's wrong with you? Oh, so he's, they selling drugs. My uncle go the- get put on next weekend. I'm from West Side Hole. She about to sell as much crack as she wants to over here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we start seeing everything right there. On and then like right from there, just off of that, he... I it's, see everything. He, he in it some type of way, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's it's no getting away from that shit out there, bro. No God, if you really from there and you really out there, like there's no choice. Like even all the niggas in LA, they be like, I don't game bad, I don't get. Yeah, okay, get a nigga drunk and mad, he gonna tell you where his whole family from. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucked up. The only way you get a pass is if you like really a motherfucking nerd. Mm, nobody. I'm talking about a nerd, nigga. I'm talking about like. I, <laughs> I can't That shit don't even work Cause innocence yeah. Innocent be dying More than anything So it's like, I don't know man I Always know that Any nigga in LA Rapping some <laughs> gangster shit He on somebody's side Somebody on his side He yeah, a crib He a blood He a boo He a SA He something You not in LA Talking no gangster shit and they got no renaissance. Yeah, you ain't got nobody. Like, it's okay, we you doing on. all this gangster shit at? What hoods you doing it in? Do they know you doing that? And if they do, do they allow it? Because they got to fuck with you. So if they do allow it, then you from there. I'm not taking no for an answer. That's where you do your dirt. Come on, like, you really you can't. At this point, you lying to me. You faking it. Mm, that's true, that's true. Do you feel like, like, since since the hood shit, you feel me, all the street shit is, like, tied into the music, they try to bring all, like, the politics and shit all together, you feel like the politics is really in, that's in tied shit, into the that's music? That's L.A. That's yeah. L.A. rap, nigga. Nigga, N.W.A. <laughs> Suge Knight, nigga, that's F. Snoop, nigga, that's L.A. rap. Ain't nothing going on without the hood. Right. Nothing, nigga, like. It ain't even extorting no more. It's about respect now, nigga. Like mm-hmm. when you come down, you better be fucking with somebody. Fuck with somebody. It you only makes to. sense though. Yeah, it only makes. It's sense. It's gonna get you. You getting bucked out there. You just even if you own Melrose or fuck Melrose Rodeo, the nice one of the nicest places in LA. Rodeo. What? Give me that. <laughs> you, you, you on some rapper shit. The only way you really getting away with that is if you like the weekend. Them night, some type niggas still be having niggas like G Weeder and all them around. Not even like, that though. They house probably getting hit while they shopping. You know what I'm saying? They be shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like, it's, it ain't nobody safe out there. Bro. Like, that, it's just real culture, bro. That's just yeah. what it is out there, bro. Mm. And that's really motherland. So a lot of these other states still be game banging. They got a great street in Memphis and all this. Like, you know what I'm saying? They all come back home, though. They all mm-hmm. come to L.A., bro. You have to do that. Like, it's, it only makes sense. We go you to Atlanta. You know what's crazy? Rappers, like, you know, New York's is, like, they that's the, that's they take pride in hip-hop. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they started that. West Coast started that gangster shit, though. Gang banging. West. You feel what I'm saying? That's, 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 yeah. that's L.A. So you feel me like it probably you can go deeper than that into like Black Panthers. I'm talking about like red and blue, like But that's what Black Panthers was stationed at out here and in LA. In the Bay and But that's that's what I'm saying, so that's what niggas be in. That's just what it is. (laughs) Music or not. Sports, nigga. I got homies from the hood in the NFL, NHP on Power Game. It's a whole lot of niggas in the NFL that game bang, bro. Yeah, it's so like it's deep. So okay, because this is where you niggas is coming from. from Tony Russell. Patrick, he played for the Jets. He throwing up the B, sacking nigga. Bam, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, it's just real, nigga. It ain't no like you feel me, like 
niggas carry that shit with them too. Like you feel me? A lot of people say it's, it's dumb. It is dumb because you know. But that's the, the ratio only ratio of what's been happening. But that's the only police and black and brown people got. Period, point blank. That's what quote unquote protect the hood, even though we don't own it. Yeah. Police still know better than how to roll through there. I tell you that. You know, yeah. just come over any old way, like we run shit. You know this. Oh, this blood's over here. You feel me, niggas? Gonna be outside. We going six units deep. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's the only police in our communities had what it was supposed to be. But they fought each other, whatever the case may be. But that's why they're still alive because that's niggas, what niggas, bro, dying. L.A. nigga. Yeah. On some game banging shit. Okay. If it ain't no game banging shit, a game banger did it. Yeah, like that. So it is. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. So let's kind of shift into the music, man. So what was like both of y'all, one of y'all first, you feel me? I wouldn't say projects, but like singles that y'all dropped that you feel like, damn, this is really getting traction in my career. I feel like I can take this music shit serious. I think I was so infatuated with myself. <laughs> you feel me? I always thought it was gonna do something. Right. But like when it took off, mm -hmm. I'm talking about, you only really gonna see where it took off if you go through some shows. So light it up. Mm -hmm. I that light it up shit. I was like, yeah. It was yeah, like, I was like, I'm a nigga, you feel me? Yeah, I'm yeah. So how, how was that feeling? You feel me seeing that reaction from everybody? You feel me doing better than normal, you know what I'm saying? That shit still give me chills when I walk on stage, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. So it's just however they feel, I just, I love that shit, bro. Like, I don't know, nigga, like, I don't know if y'all rapping them, but nigga, imagine you walking on stage, right? Right. You probably done had a fucked up day. <laughs> Nah, so it's real long shit. Long ass day type shit. Not even long ass day, nigga. One of your homies probably got killed, nigga. Like, your bitch probably left you. Like, a fucked up day. But you walk on stage to over 300 people in your face smiling at you. Just happy to see that they see your face. Come on, man. Like, you feel me? So, when I felt that, I knew it was like, yeah, this is it. Feel that? I feel that. What about you, Chuck? Uh, I I ain't had no particular single or no shit like that. And like like you said, you know what I'm saying? Me, I was just I was hungry, bro. I didn't give a fuck. My biggest song didn't even it wasn't a single. It came off a project. Like you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it it wasn't no single. We ain't no single niggas like no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mine wasn't either. That shit was just a song or a project. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't nothing like that. Nigga was just hungry. I, I don't know. I can't never say what, what made me like, oh, yeah, this shit going to take off because mm -hmm. it better take off. Like, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it ain't no, it, yeah, it's funny. No, it better. Like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have no plan B, no plan C, no none of that. <laughs> it's it right here. I don't want to, I'll fall back on anything. I'm going out with a bang. We going to rob 10 banks. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? I'm going out with a bang. You know what I'm saying? Fair point That's blame, probably bro. why we fucking shit over because that's, that's it. That's it. I don't, I don't want nothing else. I don't want to do nothing else, nigga, but this. So, that's that's how it happened, you know what I'm saying? And once it start happening, uh, I don't know. Everything else from there was just like motivation. Like now, like just because we know we're going out to a bunch of lights, like I gotta do better. I'm not just gonna make any old thing Man. in the studio. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna just drop any old thing. Mm -hmm. I gotta come correct. I don't give a fuck if it's just social media content. Make them love me more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and you have to show that elevation. Like people. Why you not like this? Like, I can't do the same shit I am doing now when I had 10,000 followers. Mm -hmm. I don't just have 10,000 no more. Bro. I have a lot more eyes on me. Yeah, I can fuck off and shit, but, like, let's make shit count. Man. You know what I'm saying? You just had a smaller crowd at one time. Now yeah. we got such a bigger crowd with different people. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's like, like you don't want to waste no moments, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, as long as it's genuine, I feel like life going to figure it out for you. You good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if you overprotective on your ideas and what you do, It'll work out for how genuine and serious you is, like, making sure everything you feeling it. Like, that's all that matters. As long as you fucking with it, it's good. It don't even matter. Because that's what it's all about. Confident. Yeah. We do songs because we love these songs. Mm -hmm. Drop them. They go worldwide and everybody love these songs. No bad way. I, we ain't putting no shit for y'all. We put, like, the fans and shit, like, on some, like, mm -hmm. you feel me, like. I know y'all gonna like it, but it ain't like, that's why we like put it out like, nigga, I like it, he like it, nigga, we know it's gonna be a hit. We, 
You know what I'm saying? That's how that's we a, calling it. That's a deeper point, though. It's like now I what I like, what we love, and we give to the people. You know what I'm saying? They love. I low key know what you like. We got a certain same type of taste. Like you get what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? So by the mass of people, and that's how artists become an artist, because it's like you can think for a thousand people, a million people. Right. We can go hit the stage, there's thirty two thousand people in the crowd. Guess they what they want to hear? Light it up. We all know they want to hear light it up. Right. Now we all connected, like you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's just having that one up, you know what I'm saying? On your audience, no cap. Mm. That's true, that's true. So who are some of y'all like uh Influences, you feel me, growing up, you feel me, you feel like influences on your music now. Like big? Yeah, big. Also, please say shit, of course, everything West Coast. <laughs> you know, everything I was listening to, you feel me, growing up and shit. <coughs> Boosie. Boosie and Webby. I'm thug in high school. Nipsey. Bone thugs, I'm a big bone thugs. Bone thugs for sure. Bone thugs, I'm a thugging type nigga. I'ma mm -hmm. take me as I am, like. Okay. So I'm like this, you know what I'm saying? But that's why he, me and him, so like this together. You know what I'm saying? Like, he coming correct, like. He coming. Yeah. That shit on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bruce is gonna come, you tell me how he is, oh, Eddie, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, like, cliche shit. But I like, like, Wiz Khalifa and shit when I was in high school. Sure. Uh, I think he had a big thing. Wiz. He for sure has been a fan. So let's kind of get into uh, some of the songs that y'all done put out together, man. So let's get into the first song, No Kizzy, man. I want y'all to break down the meaning behind it, the process, recording it, and shooting the video and shit. Did that out here? No, nah, it wasn't. Uh, the process, the uh, record process was like... I didn't even expect niggas to fuck with that song like that. Not like it's bad or nothing, but like you knew it was gonna go up. Like me, him, and Kapo, like we no go. Like it's really the home. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I just thought it was like one. Of, we did like three that night. Yeah, I feel like we did like four songs. That night. That's just the one everybody was fucking with. You feel me? Ah yeah, that's you know yeah, that, that's crazy. Yeah, it was on some natural oh. shit though. I ain't even. I think that was like uh, our managers. Like you feel me? Like. Probably would really put it in our head, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. then it only made sense when he came out here to shoot the video. And video shit. was smooth though. Yeah. For the video, Polo took us all through Oakland. Oh, oh so he hey, showed y'all okay. around. Yeah. He, took us, he took us to Touch of Soul. All that shit. Yeah. Every mm -hmm. meal, you know. What we saying? went on the block. He was all that. That nigga took us. He took us hey, on the tour <laughs> the Dug, through, through, through Oakland on God Never through the whole right. Oakland in like 35, 40 minutes in the scat pack. That nigga was doing 120 on the main streets. He pulled up. He pulled up on his block. He parked in the middle of the street. How about we parking in the street? He hop out hit the driveway. He dumped back. Nigga, y'all get out. He's buzzed out. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, mama's like garage open. Niggas coming out. He on the block. I'm like, oh. This is like home. What's going on? I wasn't expecting that. Oh, my mama, nigga. Shit, nigga, shout out Capolo, nigga. No bad. That nigga pulled up on the street. That nigga pulled up on the street. Same energy in Atlanta, oh God. Nigga. By himself. What the fuck now? I don't really think about it. He pull up right, on us in LA with the same energy. He pull up on us in San Diego with the same energy. What the fuck? Yeah. Shout out that's a real nigga, bro. So that's how the video went. We did all that, and then we yeah. went to go shoot the video. Yeah. Yeah. Then he took us to uh, the Ski Row of Oakland. Oh, yeah. Skid Row, Oakland. Oakland. We got yeah. the little smoker bitch. Yeah. You watch the video, it's a little smoker bitch in a yellow jacket dancing. I'm already knowing. She was trying to twerk on me. <laughs> this chain started falling out of her pocket. <laughs> <laughs> we got the helper pick her chain up. Yeah. Bitch had big ass fake dollar coins. Oh, <laughs> man. Give me some chip too, though. You feel hey, what I'm no, saying? Hey, no, Major picked it up and he, hey, check this fake. Like, <laughs> Like, oh, they out here finessing her cup. Like, yeah, I'm talking about, here you go, I'm gonna help you. Hey, you feel me though? Like, yeah. on me. Nah, no kidding. That, that was just natural though. That yeah. Capolo. And then we was choosing uh, to put it on the album or not, but we got Capolo. Like I said, we always do shit with him. So we got See, y'all just try to think that's mm -hmm. on the album. That ain't even on the album. Nah, we yeah. just choose it to drop it as a single. Like, you know what I'm saying? We already got him on the album. Well, like, hell. What else we drop after that? 
we dropped my niggas this we dropped the cover art tomorrow and I think we gotta go with the cover art because it got a it got a titty on it. What's the cover art looking like? Let me get an exclusive look. Yeah, I mean we drop it tomorrow, we gotta drop it tomorrow. Let me see the My thing niggas, my about. niggas uh, I was showing niggas and I was asking them like, can There's you can you see the titty? <laughs> they can't see the bitch on the bottom titty, but they they can see the bitch as a lamp titty. <laughs> you see the vibes. Uh, we got human furniture. Mm. Human furniture. Right here. <laughs> ah! You put can put like a little, y'all can't put like a nah, squiggle around here. No, I'm just saying though, because we got to post it tomorrow. We don't want Instagram taking it yeah. down. They getting all the comments and like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> fuck up, the algorithm going to fuck it up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we've been dropping like, like, app, like appetizers and shit. Like, mm, getting just niggas getting niggas board. ready. Because like, we got mm. a million songs. Nah, no cap. We probably got over like 300 songs together. Just, you know, mm. me and bro. Just because. Nigga on an everyday basis, it's me and him in the studio. Like, if he ain't got a session, I do. I'm at his, he at mine type of shit. So we got too much music together, bro. Like, you feel me? So we came with the album and we just dropped the gang of singles. Like, not even singles, just like the hits. Hood Rat was our first single mm -hmm. with Boosie. Mm -hmm. That was our first single off the album. Okay. Ooh, y'all was trying to come hard off that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a real. Because like you, you said you got Kamaya on the shit. Viral, bro. It's too viral. It's like, as well. Like, like, this like some viral, like, this is like. <laughs> no, listen, this is like some fucking, like, commercial song. It's, like, it's versatile. Like, like it's yeah. commercial, mm -hmm. but it's nigga shit, too. Yeah, yeah, like, you get yeah, what I'm saying? You know, this, we coming with the nigga shit, shit. and then Kamaya like, coming with the good You know what I mean? Radio play. Like, you know what I'm saying? And we come with the nigga shit. So, like, that shit was perfect. She. She actually sent us like two songs. She sent the, the one we did first, and then she sent another one like, I don't know if they ain't gonna like that one first. <laughs> Nigga, we love the first one. What you talking about, Kavaya? <laughs> we running we'll down right now. We'll take it both. We'll take it both. I really, I, we really, I was like, we need to do both, but we're going with that first one. I don't give a fuck. That's yeah, it, so it. shout out Kamaya for real. That part, that part. Yeah, we did them, and then we, yeah, we got the album coming. Mm. Let's talk about that song y'all dropped called Pop. Hills, man. That was one of the first ones. Single too. Yeah, the first one that's not even on the album either. That was on the album music. That was that was a single. Yeah, that was accident. It'd be like the ones that be going crazy be accidents too. That was accident, nigga. We probably we weren't even do that. Tight, nah, on some on some real shit. Tight was at the studio. Yeah, I heard the shit and I just like let me get on it. Usually I don't even have to say that because no, yeah, yeah, like, don't even. He'll <laughs> ask me to get on a song. Yeah. He, he'll tell me like, yeah, that's hard. And then I'm like, okay, right. get on it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, that's all you know. That's all you gotta say. He ask me a question like, they are here tell me that's hard, and be like, you gonna do this? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> like, and when I say that, then I'm like, oh, if I'm gonna do this, you gonna do this? He just ask me. So that was God. during like EDD times too. Mm. We did so much music in that time. That's what yeah. really got us to do everybody the Everybody in the city had money, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, so everybody was doing it up, mm, you feel me? Mm. And on some young nigga shit, on some L.A. real nigga shit, that's what we was on too, you feel what I'm saying? We was doing it up, nigga. Like, it was, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. You could ask anybody who was witness it. Nigga, L.A. had a crazy time, bro. Uh, when EZB sure. hit or all the fucking... Riding was going on during mm -hmm. the COVID, all that mm -hmm. shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, because the vibe it was, was high. It was live yeah. in LA, you know what I'm saying? So we was going up, you know what I'm saying? We were just getting with the program. And I was probably spent like $30,000 on rentals just on in, during the summer. Like, mm -hmm. just renting cars. Like, I ain't got no license or nothing, nigga. So this all through <laughs> my mama and my sister, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. just renting cars, nigga. Like, you feel me? So we was just like, Having random sessions, nigga, pulled up on tight. I felt nah, so good. I wouldn't even say rap. They even scheduled, but I ain't going to lie. Like I'm saying, like, can't. when I pulled up, it was just like, it wasn't nobody there. It was just me, because nobody heard that song. Bro. Yeah, it was. But I'm saying, like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to take that shit for granted, because <laughs> them sessions was really good. I'm talking about back-to-back -back good sessions. Was like, them sessions. When, we, when we do the album, we didn't get approached, like, by Empire or the managers or nothing. Like, hey, Rucci and Chai, y'all just, let's do an album. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like that. Like somebody just already thought, like, "Oh, y'all a good duo." Or, nigga, we was just making so much good music. It's like, okay, the little homies you know, was really honest about that shit too. Yeah, it's like, okay, you got all these good songs. You just just gonna just drop singles all year, right? Might as well put them in the project. You know what I'm saying? It's so many good songs coming naturally. 
You know what I'm saying? It wasn't until this year we actually came out here and it was time made two weeks strictly to do mm -hmm. album shit. Okay. Besides that, we getting drunk, we doing pills, and we just going to the studio. That was regular <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how we party, bro. We party in the studio. Like, mm -hmm. Bitch, wanna fuck? You gotta party at the studio. You gotta then I fuck take you to the pool. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna be. Then I man. take you. Nah, man. Man. We having time to be going to the club. Nah, nah I'm, I'm at the studio. studio. I'm, I'm at the studio. studio show, beat nigga, beat and back out. <laughs> I'm being at the studio. All right. Right in the first room. You know what I'm saying? In the bathroom. In <laughs> the bathroom. Yeah. And we get yeah. some water and we right back That's to the night. Nah, niggas be doing it up, man. Nigga ain't. Yeah. They ain't go cap like nigga. Nigga's vibes. Nigga like, you feel right. me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Bitches was around for a reason. You feel right. me? Okay. Type shit. So, yeah. yeah. We were working on this album for last year. Yeah. Damn. So, how does it feel to finally kind of really go forward and. Getting ready to push this shit out to the people finally. All the work you put in, you feel me? All the hours y'all put in the studio, getting the promos for it together, the press for it together, you feel me? <laughs> I think I think that's the most important part. Like we don't think about the recording part for real. Mm -hmm. Cause you supposed to do that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like just personally as an artist, like everybody else is supposed to think like that for you as an artist. You can't judge on yourself. I think like we just been waiting to get to this, the rollout. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That press run mm -hmm. and the promotion, that, that that's that hands-on work. That's where you you gotta put your foot down and make it hot. Like you know what I'm saying? As an artist, though. Facts, facts. That's true. The promo and that push is really what what's gonna get you. But to we that. got that. We got controversy. Up. Fuck mm -hmm. the odds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Members only. Men and don't like us. Yeah, and then. The cover are crazy. Like I said, we got human furniture. Hopefully, we the feminists don't come for us. <laughs> <laughs> Not the feminists, though. You know how they do. <laughs> they yeah, be man. on it. They be on it. Yeah, but, but look, that's what we... I ain't gonna lie. We ain't on no life. We ain't scared of nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? We that's what it is, it. though, bro. At the end of the day, Courtesy people forget that. Like, yeah. this, is who, this is who me and him. Like, this is who we are. Like, mm -hmm. All right, as artists, you got to entertain. You know Niggas be scared to answer questions in interviews about having a girlfriend or something like that. Mm -hmm. Nigga like, if it is, or what else? Nigga, right, come on, cause right. if they know, then they know. Let's go. Do you feel me like? When you a public figure, you have no private life. Yeah, so you know, that's what it is, bro. They know I don't like that nigga too. So yeah, it don't matter. You point blank. If you ain't outside with it, then you ain't outside. <laughs> that part. That part. So. Now we gonna need you to go ahead and break down the song you dropped called Lil Stink Stink, man. Uh, uh, shit. I mean, I mean, it's self-explanatory. You know what it's about. Right. Uh, otherwise, that was really some light work. Yeah, man, that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they be trying to rap with Yeah, that ain't shit. I, I wasn't getting aggressive. It wasn't no club hit. It was just a beef for you to hear me talk shit on and I can explain what's going on. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Besides that, I know niggas All bro needs a reason. Yeah, nigga like, came. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's funny because before he did it, he, he, he funny because I think, like, we know each other so much. Like, he looked at me he like, what? I've been doing song. Fuck it. Oh, this the, this the night before. <laughs> we heard, we heard, uh, we heard Boy this song. He I dropped the Eagle Wear shit. I'm on live and they telling me. I'm like, oh, okay, but let me hear the shit. Like, not like that. Like, I'm not biased, bro. Beef and all, it's fuck you and all, but I'm gonna be for real. You know what I'm saying? I'm expecting Boy to go crazy. Like, I'm like, when the beat drop, it gotta sound like the boogeyman coming from under well, I thought he was gonna call me like a fat bitch or something. Like, like. he, he, he came on, just like, nah. <laughs> it was a boy, he said, he a cult member, hang him by a cult then. Exactly, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> at crickets, exactly, like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't understand, and you know, he was making lines up, and I mean, my shit was just facts. That's you know, what I can say about you know, the song. To be honest, you know so crazy? It's, it was, the, the whole song was really about, like, Tyke, and you named it Eagle Week. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Inglewood. He's not from Inglewood, bro. <laughs> he, just, he just did a bad job at rapping, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like... In all the And then I feel, like, I feel like the reach and shit, too, when it comes like to, like... I understand now anything you put out, the crowd... I mean, the fans gonna eat up, so... Shit. I could do an interview and say I killed 10 niggas. They gonna be like, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. No way, Gucci. No. Ten niggas. You better stop playing. Yeah. So like, it's you feel me? Bro started reaching. I ain't gonna lie. Like the game banging at twenty five. It was just like, all right. 
it's fun. <laughs> it's fun in the sport though. Like I like that shit. Because but bro, but bro, like on some rapping shit. Like you feel me? It was rapping shit. Let's be honest. It's just music. You feel what I'm saying? Like it was, it was rapping shit. You can't fuck with bro. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck though. Like the way them niggas move. Like niggas liable to see them, and they're like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like. As a man, we supposed to square up and fight, but nigga liable to open hand slap the shit out of them niggas. Then I'm going to ask you to fight. I got to slap you like a bitch first. Then I'm going to tell you squabble up. You deserve that. You know what I'm saying? But that's the most gangster it's going to get about it. Them yeah. niggas is not on that type of time. And it's just a lot of shit going on behind closed doors. And it's a lot of street shit. Like, we really from L.A. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even on that song, I did it. I really made, like, three diss songs. <laughs> In one song. No, or you in in general. Before that song came out, I made three diss songs. That song, that one song I dropped is mm-hmm. two diss songs just together, and one cut in half. Is mm-hmm. clear the air one of them? Clear the air was like a warning shot. Like I want to <laughs> see what you gonna do. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not here to respond to a nigga. You gonna respond to me? I'm going first. You supposed to be out here with this Drake feature and all that, but you're not making nothing shake. Like you're not. You're not putting a nail in the coffin. You're not moving like that. Niggas know they cannot, they ain't fucking with nothing over here. He's the best rapper out of his group, and he's bare minimum. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's nothing personal. I already look into this shit. like that. Niggas be like, acting like, you, you gonna get love? You supposed to get love. You feel what I'm saying? Like He blatantly hates, though. So that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it's rap shit, but you blatantly hate. Just on some... Just, on some it, real nigga shit, I gotta easy, slap you. Emotional. you it is emotional. what it is, bro. Like, I don't give a fuck if I'm a one person, two person. I already know you gonna get tough. Niggas go, uh, uh, uh. And I'm gonna let you talk, and I'm gonna reach over and slap you. Miss, <laughs> body out, squabble up. Shut up, nigga. Squabble up right now, nigga. And all y'all niggas, and I don't even give a fuck. That's just what it is, bro. And it's a part of the sport. So keep that in mind. No rapper in this fucking world with a successful career, the biggest artist in the world, you have to be with somebody. You're going to bump heads with somebody. You cannot want to be the greatest and not bump heads. I want to be the greatest. I'm not here to rap mid or I really see myself being, I want to be great. So I got, you got to go through that. I felt like it was fake my past first two years blowing up. I'm like, damn, I ain't getting to it with nobody. <laughs> This shit kind of fake. Like, what's going on? Like, I know you niggas don't like me. Y'all not going to say nothing? And then it finally happened. I swear to God, I manifested this in 2019, bro. 2020 come, we get jiggy. At the end of 2020, niggas just start bumping heads. And that's just what it is. Like, you so, know what I'm saying? So you mean to tell me you manifest one of the biggest <laughs> rap beefs in L.A.'s culture not, in not, this generation today. Not not in particular like not saying, like, 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 like oh I'm gonna beef with him, not yeah. like <laughs> not like when him, just like but damn, I knew, bound to come like yeah, I knew I was gonna buff heads. It didn't even have to be a rapper, it could be a street <laughs> nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That happened. It was often. just smooth selling basically he was yeah. saying like it was just like like say like say like you on the same you in the same motion Titanic was in yeah. and everything just going smooth. They told you nobody is it nobody in this fake, ocean, bro. nobody in this ocean fake, survives and nothing wow, like that. Bro. You remember, like, you remember oh, that when you when you come from struggle, you're like, nah, you hell, to no, that. I'm running to something. <laughs> I right, niggas start smooth selling. I get signed. Yeah. I, I, I got my biggest song. I make another <laughs> big song with Rucci, and I'm, I'm touring everywhere. This shit feels too good. <laughs> Who lying? Nah, what's gonna happen? Like, who lying? Like, and then little do you know, that shit happened right there. I ain't got no problem but with that. But that ain't it. even it nothing big, though. You know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing that's slowing nah. me down or nothing like that. So, like, like, like you know me. what I'm saying? Like, when you say something bound to happen like that, like, yeah, that ain't slowed him down or nothing like that. You feel me? They, they ain't been like something that knocked him off his pivot. Like, nothing ain't happened like that to where it's like, oh shit, something happened. Nah, bro, that was just something. That was like, okay, okay, now I see where it's coming from. You know yeah. Know what I'm but now the, I see, you know what I'm saying, what could be what? You know what I'm saying? The whole situation is just sus, though. So, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's such, like, it's so touchy-touchy about the, you know what I mean? The, the little the beef or whatever, because it's, the whole thing is sus. And then, I don't know, I guess niggas get so much done to them, like, wrong done to them in a private, they extra tough in public, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? So... Yeah. I don't know. It's straight though, like fuck, bro. Though. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Absolutely, co members only. No stinks, stinks allowed. Like you know what I'm saying. We make yeah. a stinky stink, niggas stink. You know what I'm saying. But 
<laughs> What's the next question, bro? That's it, though. <laughs> Them niggas can't fuck with nothing going on, bro. Them niggas know better, bro. They gonna keep that shit internet, bro. They gonna keep it on live. They gonna keep it on the post. That's all they gonna do, nigga. They never gonna hit me up personally or like, oh, yeah, let's do it. Man, nigga, wait. Beat the scene, nigga. You wanna play like that, nigga? That shit weird. Anyway, yeah, next question. So, uh... <laughs> Do y'all got weird, any weird. last thoughts y'all want to leave off to your fans that's watching y'all right now? But right before that question, we have to give a shout out to our sponsor for today's video. We got the star quality merch for the gang. Yeah. So we appreciate y'all oh, yeah, fucking team, with the star, man. I'm so this. Yes, sir, <laughs> man. Next show. Yes, sir, man. Next Come show. on, man. <laughs> on this episode. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, Oh, that nigga said we do it on this episode, man. But you got any any last thoughts you want to leave off to your fans? That's man, watching your man. Uh, Curse, yes. Curse, yes. Curse, yes. Today. Nigga. Coming out. Tour. Y'all heard about Whoopi Whoop. Me and Chike were in the West. Yes, Five man. Five You feel me? We're in the Bay. Like it's LA. Okay. Um, shit, shout outs. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to the game. Shout out to the team. Max and Coke. Shout out to Ops, too. We need y'all live. <laughs> You feel me? Uh, we out here doing it up. Oh, shout to my motherfucking son at the house. I know you big chilling a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Doing your thing, driving your mom crazy. Nigga, oh, yeah. Man, man. Man. But yeah, that's it. I'm finna go back in there and rap real quick. Shout out to Star Quality. Shout out Bulu. He all over the album. Shout out Bulu. Nigga, no. Ish, we, nigga. When we done with this Ish, interview, nigga. we going in. Ish, go Ish, play, nigga. <laughs> We go go here and shit. Wrapping it up, man. <laughs> What you working with? Hey, show me what you working with. Working yeah. with. Shake some, you can twerk that shit. Hey, shake some, you can twerk that shit. Twerk that uh -huh. shit. Show me what you working with. Hey, show me what you working with. Working yeah. with. Shake some, you can twerk that shit. Hey, shake some, you can twerk that shit. Twerk that show, shit. Show, show me.